Hello everyone, welcome to The Green Man for another Friday night album review. In this review I'm covering the latest release from Space Chaser Give Us Life, which is the third studio album from this German thrash metal band, uh, released two weeks ago via Metal Blade Records, and the album is 39 minutes, and it's 10 tracks. And I really, really enjoyed what I listened to from this um, from this thrash metal band. Sort of a kind of classic old school thrash metal sound, if you like, with some sci-fi themes. And I feel like there's, you know, the odd sci-fi sounding effect going on as well with some of these songs. Um, I really liked that. I also liked that I could hear a kind of multitude of influences or, or you know, uh, sounds within this album. So the vocals reminded me a bit of Bruce Dickinson kind of Fear of the Dark era vocals but that worked really well with the kind of overkill testamenty rhythms that were going on and the, and the amazing guitar leads that we got as well at different parts of this album so overall I thought you get a great sound because you have you know really good uh, combination of elements coming together so well here and giving us giving us something which I, I felt like whilst it felt a little bit familiar it was also something you know something a little bit new here as well that, that I hadn't heard too much of recently. Um, I really liked, uh, let's just go through some of the tracks here and which ones that I enjoyed the most, I think. Uh, so Good Opener, Remnants of Technology, certainly gave us, uh, you know, started as this album off as it meant to go on, I think. Um, one thing I enjoyed about this album was the way with, with tracks like Juggernaut and Antidote to Order, was how the vocals copied the rhythms of the guitar, and particularly like this in Antidote's Order, which is perhaps my favourite song on this album. I thought that was absolutely brilliant, that song. Um, and it's just those vocal moments that uh, get the singer's name right here, because my pronunciation's not great, but Siegfried Rudzinski um, really enjoyed his vocals, and I liked how in some of the choruses we get that sort of copying of the vocals to the rhythm of the guitar. I mean, it's something I know that's done in the thrash and, and, and the other, other kinds of music, of course, it's, it's something that's done quite often, but really enjoyed how it was done, particularly in Antidote's Order. I just loved that. Um, Dark Descent finished the album pretty well as well with that progressive, more progressive track that we got. I know quite often, you know, metal artists, they seem to finish their albums on slightly longer tracks sometimes and go down that progressive road. And, and this was the choice made here by Space Chaser, but they did this very, very well um, and love the solos and the melodies actually at the end of this track too. Um, another thing I want to comment on and make a special shout out to is the guitar work, if I haven't already. Um, Leo Schacht and Martin Hochsettle, I want to get their names right. They joined up so well on the guitars with the rhythms and the leads and uh, the harmonies were so, so good. I think um, I think it was um, Burn Them All where there were some amazing, you know, demonstrations of, of, of the harmonies of these guitars. Um, but yeah, overall, this was a strong thrash album. One of the best I've probably heard in 2021 so far. For me, the second half was the stronger half of the album. I liked everything from the Immortals onwards. Before that, still enjoyed it, but perhaps not quite as much as the second half of the album. Um, just felt like they got a bit more. They tried a few other things in the second half that I hadn't really heard so much of in the first half. And that's just just, just my subjective view. But I did really like uh, what was offered by that second half. So overall, I'm going to give this album a pretty strong 8 out of 10. Um, as I say, one of the best thrash albums I've probably heard this year so far. So, how did you rate this album? Did you also love the same songs as me? Did you love Antidote to Order? Did you love The Immortals? What were your picks for your favourite tracks in this album? Or did you not enjoy the album at all? Do you actually think uh, this wasn't such a good album? Interested to hear your opinion, drop them in the comments. Also, do feel free, as ever, to drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, if you like watching album reviews, or if you like watching rankings and lists of favourite albums and tracks and that kind of thing to do that on the channel as well as coverage of sci-fi, fantasy and horror films and TV. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed, uh, enjoyed the video. Uh, otherwise, enjoy your weekend. See you next time. Take care.